Ladies and gentlemen, 2020 has been a raging, flaming dumpster fire, and you know it, okay? What I'm going to do today, though, is talk to you about how you can make 2021 your year. But Sam, how are you going to do that? Don't you know 2021 is going to be more of the same of 2020? I mean, it could be, if you want it to be, or... You could do something about it. Let's go. So guys, let's talk a little bit about what your goal for 2020 is as a streamer. You're like me, 2020, like I said earlier, has been a raging dumpster fire. But streaming is one of those things that's kept kind of my mental state up and, and high and, and stuff. You know, it's helped me really overcome some uh, otherwise pretty depressing things that, that are going on in the world right now. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I, I don't know what to tell you. But 2021 is going to be a great year for you. You know why? Because you're going to set goals. Not only are you going to set goals for your stream and your content, but you're going to set effective goals. But Sam, I have the goal to get 1,000 subscribers. Heck yeah. Listen. You can do that if you want, but there's a big problem with that. The initial impression of people when they're setting goals is that they want to set a goal like, oh, I want to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, or I want to get 50 followers on Twitch and get affiliate and stuff like that, which, you know, at face value seem like really great goals. The problem is, is how do you do that, right? That's a great goal, I guess, you know, kind of long-term kind of big ethereal mass goal. I suppose the problem with that goal is that it's completely and 100% dependent on other people. Okay. Which is a big problem. Okay. Because you can't control other people as much as you would probably like to, you just, you can't do it. So when you're setting a goal, you need to be effective. You need to say something like, I want to put out a video every week, right? That's a great goal. The reason being, because you have control over that goal. You have control over whether or not you put out a video every week, okay? You don't, however, have control over somebody clicking that subscribe button, which, by the way, if you are not subscribed, uh, definitely click the subscribe button down below, hit the like button too, and uh, turn on notifications if you're interested in learning more, right? And if you're interested in seeing how I'm executing my goals for my content and my stream, uh, go check out my Twitch page down below. Uh, links down in the description. So step two, uh, your goals need to be measurable. Otherwise, they're just dreams and you'll never be able to achieve them, right? If you have a goal of, you know, oh, I want to be a great YouTuber. That's not a, that's not a measurable goal. That's not a goal. That's a dream, right? That's an aspiration. A goal is like, I want to make my content my full-time job by the end of 2021, right? That's a quantifiable, you know, measurable metric, right? Because obviously it's like, okay, how much money do I need, right? Okay, I need this much money to make this my full-time career, okay? And okay, great. So how, what can you do to get up to making that much money per month or per year, right? Uh, so that you can make content creation your full-time job, right? Or another great one is, I want to um, put out put out a video every week. You know, obviously that's a quantifiable goal. Out of 52 weeks in the year, how many of those weeks have you put out a new video? So things like that, right? You have to have some measurable, quantifiable goal. Otherwise, you're never going to be able to really achieve what it is you're hoping for. Okay, goals also need to be clearly defined. And when I say that, I mean they need to have a clear starting point and a clear ending point. So for example, obviously 2021, lots of people said New Year's resolutions. January 1st, 2021 is a great starting point. December 31st, 2021 is a great stopping point, right? Th those are, that's a clearly defined time frame for your goal, okay? The reason that's important is because if you don't have a destination for your goal, you're not really gonna be able to do much with that, right? It's just kind of like, I'll get to it later. I'll work on it here in a little bit. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it whenever, yeah, you, whatever. Okay, you'll never have that drive and motivation to say, oh, okay, I have until December 31st, 2021 to make this my full-time career. 
Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do it, right? Otherwise, I have to start over, right? Or something like that. Obviously, you don't have to start over with something like that. But you get what I'm saying, right? Otherwise, you know, it drives you and motivates you to actually work on your goal. Now, inside of that goal of making YouTube your full-time career, right? You're going to have sub goals. Obviously, making a video every week is a big part of that, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, every week I have to put out a video, right? You're going to have kind of like sub goals. You could think of the goal of making content creation your full-time job. Uh, people call it like a wildly important goal or a wig. Um, that's a good one to have, right? Uh, inside of that wildly important goal, you have sub goals. You know, what are things that you need to do every day uh, to be able to achieve that overall goal? So for example, if it's putting out a video every week, okay, you need to say, okay, what do I need to do to put out a video every week? Okay. And then from there you say, okay, well, I need to write a script. I need to record the video. I need to edit the video and I need to publish the video, right? There are lots of great ways to help you achieve that goal, right? And be able to keep track of that. One thing that you can use is what's called a Kanban board. Uh, one that I per personally enjoy is called Trello. Uh, so let me show you a little bit about what I have going on over there. Show you a little bit more about how I use it and how you guys can maybe use it yourself. So let's uh, let's just go into it. Okay, so this is my uh, Kanban board or my Trello board, right? Uh, for uh, my YouTube videos, okay? I'm just kind of getting started. Obviously, this is like my first or second video, right? <laughs> So uh, we have some things that we're currently working on. I have a couple other, I have one other video idea. I have a couple other in this journal, right, that I have. I have a journal that I keep a lot of video ideas in, uh, which I highly suggest you do that. I'll usually just write down ideas on that and while I'm at work or something, uh, you can do that on your phone or whatever. Wherever you want to keep your ideas, do that. Um, because then you can come in here into Trello and you can dump them all in here, okay? Now, uh, let me show you a little bit about how I have this organized, right? Obviously, I have my different steps for getting my my YouTube videos going. So, obviously, we start with YouTube video ideas, write script slash outline, record, edit, publish, reflect slash brainstorm. If I wanted to add more, I could, right? But what we want to start out with is the YouTube video ideas, okay? So... What I have is a template card here that I've made that I have video title, idea, record, edit, editing ideas, publish, so on and so forth, and checklists of what I need to do on each one of those, those items. This isn't gonna be a full blown tutorial on how to make a Trello board or anything like this. Uh, feel free to look at some different tutorial ideas on YouTube. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave some down, down below in the, in the description. Um, but from there, what I can do is if I have a new um, video idea that I want to do, I can click this little button, create from template, choose the template card that I want, video template, and create a card, right? And then I have an opportunity to rename it and stuff. So then I can go through here and you can do markdown editing, formatting, right? That's how you make the different things like bolded and stuff like that and italicized. Then I can make a video idea title idea and then here i can be like idea record c checklist below edit your c checklist below editing ideas publish your c checklist below save and then it all gets put in here see so you can see i have title i idea yeah. uh idea for an idea for the video some things i want to do and then once i have all that done once it's become a fully fleshed out idea I move it to writing the script slash outline. I'll usually do that in like Google Docs or something like that. I have a Chromebook that I'll type it up on so I can do it anywhere, right? Then from there, I'll start recording, which is where we're at now with this video. See, stream resolutions right there. See, and this is the card for that. See, so you have, you know, one of these titles might be the title that you read and what you clicked on, right? Um, different ideas that I have inside of the video right things that i want to talk about we're talking about tools right now um and then record edit publish and then i'm not quite done with this yet but when i'm done i'll click that and then once i start editing i'll start clicking those once i start publishing i'll start clicking those and that way i can keep track of where i'm at actually right so then once i'm done with all that i'll move it over to edit and i'll check out all the editing things publish do all the publishing things and then at the end of any goal, 
it's really good to reflect and brainstorm, especially on like these little goals that help you achieve your wildly important goal, right? Uh, it's important to be able to go back and reflect on what these, um, how the process went, you know, does anything need to be changed, does anything need to be adjusted, you know, what went well, what didn't go so well, things like that. And then after that, you can click here and archive it. Or if you want to just make a list of all the completed completed things, you could do that. And you just move it over into that. And then boom, then you have like a running tally of all the different things that you've been able to complete throughout the year. So honestly, it's pretty cool. Uh, now, this has been a pretty YouTube-centric episode right and obviously this makes sense for like a youtube video right or if you're doing a youtube video let me show you something else right here's a one that i would you could make for like streaming right so let's say you want to do a new stream overlay or you want to do a pokemon shield playthrough you want to make a new emo or you want to develop a subscriber minecraft server all right all right what you could do is uh you just list out your ideas and then you know maybe you have a template card template that you're using but then as you go through here you can go through here okay so plan you know what kind of stream overlay are you wanting to do you know what kind of thing are you wanting to, to carry out you know uh, maybe you have some doodles some pictures some ideas right that you want to implement right and then you actually start designing it right maybe this is where you start you know thinking okay so i want to do this and i want to make this and i want to have this to be see-through i don't want this to be blurred and i think this would be cool for a for a gameplay overlay or a or a just chatting overlay something like that right then you go into the developing right and the development is more you know okay let's actually start making this new overlay happen right so what plugins am i going to need you know which you would probably do this over somewhere in here right uh plan or design maybe it's part of develop maybe that's what you're doing there's really no set way to do this it's how whatever however you feel is organized best right Anyway, so after you've developed it, you want to make sure that you're going through and testing the different things. So, for example, I'm this overlay that I'm using to record my YouTube video, right? I have a couple different things. You know, uh, do these overlays work? Are these good? You know, um, you know, does the zoom function work for the display, right? This little function that I have right here, does this work? Works fine. Perfect. Um, you know, if I wanted to have a camera more zoomed out with a border, you can see the YouTube camera. That's this camera right here that you're looking at. Bet you didn't know that. Um, but anyway, so when we go into here, you know, you'd make sure everything's working, right? And you might jump back and forth between these two a couple times as you're developing and testing different things. Then you deploy it, right? This is, maybe this is the first stream that you do with the new overlay, right? Uh, and you make sure everything works and stuff like that. And then after that first stream, you review it, what worked, what didn't work. Maybe you need to go back to design. Maybe you need to go back to develop. That's why you can move this back and forth, right? To see, oh, hey, this actually needs to go do, oh, hey, we need to plan this out better. You know, whatever it is that you're needing to do, you can do that. They're honestly super dope. I highly recommend at least taking a look at it to really help organize and get your, your goals going. Your res make, really make your resolution something something achievable right because i think that's what any of us want right at the end of the day we want to make sure that we're feeling successful we want to make sure that we're feeling you know like we're actually accomplishing something right that being said i do know that these things work uh if you will put in the time and effort to really do something with them right if you really take the time and really put your nose to the grindstone to push and organize yourself and do the things that you've planned yourself to do I know that you can do it, guys. 2020 has been, like I said, a dumpster fire of a year. But 2021 doesn't necessarily have to be more of the same. You can, if you want, make it a better place for you. Right? You can really make 2021 the year that you achieve your dreams. Right? I know a lot of people have had a slap of reality this year. So what are you going to do to change it? Right? Now that you know how bad it can get, what are you going to do to change it? Think about it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, I really hope you do. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click like. Ring the bell for notifications. I'd really love to be able to share more content with you guys and really help you guys out with your streaming and whatever else it is that you have going on. Guys, I'm here to talk. I'm here to chat. 
uh, if you want to links down in the description for my twitch please reach out to us if you have any questions comments or concerns I'm more than happy to help um so let's talk okay guys been good take care bye